channel. I'm Nikki. And I'm Rachel and we're the Stitch Sisters. And we're back with another What We Love This Week. Yes, we are. And you know what? We are loving how much you are loving What yeah. We Love This Week because it's it's a really fun thing for us to do. Mm. And it's a really nice thing, isn't it, to take stock at some point in the week and just to think, right, what are we going to yeah. mention this week? Oh, so first things first, we should probably tell you that we're moving it to a new slot. So we are going to start releasing this on Sunday morning. Yeah, so our 70s <laughs> dresses, today is Friday, by the way, and our 70s dresses I video nice. is, is going out today today mm -hmm. um so we thought that actually as because it's got kind of a magazine style format to yeah. it we thought this might be quite nice for a sunday morning when and, you're laying in bed with your coffee and sunday is the end of the week okay. mm -hmm. yes um so but today is friday and yes. it is also international women's day Yay! so happy international women's day to you, to you and to you and to, you. <laughs> and to all the amazing women out there yeah we are so lucky to have each other um and but also to have our uh, <laughs> but also to have so many other inspirational women in our life yes. and also you guys as well on Instagram and on YouTube we're really inspired by what you're doing we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys watching us we would just be waffling on to nobody so <laughs> to each other to each other <laughs> so who is your favourite woman from history? oh for them the whole of history in the whole of history pick one which one? <sighs> well there's loads that I could pick but, um, I didn't say loads I said one yeah, well maybe one that doesn't it's not necessarily as significant in terms of having yeah. changed the world, but I love the story of Amelia Earhart, okay. um, who was the lady who flew across the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. um, just the fact that she decided no women mm. flew, and she just decided, just proper I'm going to fly. Yeah. I'm going to learn to fly. And not only that, I'm going to fly across the other side of the world. <laughs> um, but then I just love the drama and the mystery around her yeah. story, the fact that she disappeared, her plane disappeared somewhere over the Pacific. She? And that's what I've always thought, is that... <laughs> <laughs> people just assumed she was dead but I always had visions of her on some island in the South Pacific with a harem of men <laughs> or women and just uh, you know living the, like, life. Li living the life of a goddess <laughs> on an island where she's worshipped because <laughs> she landed on a plane and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she just escaped she was Fabulous. just like I've had enough of this life where women <laughs> people think women can't fly I'm going to start my own society <laughs> great so, yeah Amelia Earhart I think lovely and you? Uh, queen Victoria because yeah, nobody wanted her to be queen and she just got on with it and she was so young and you know she she had uh, difficulties and everything like that but she just Rose did it challenge. her way yes. and that's yeah. what I love about her yeah there's a lot of sadness in her life as well and I think yeah. she really weathered it well didn't mm. she um, but being surrounded you can I, I couldn't imagine being surrounded by men all the time who yeah. are all very strong willed yeah very political yeah very ambitious yeah and she had to hold her own in yeah. that court yeah. amongst everyone else which is exceptional yeah. I mean, if you fancy commenting below and letting us know your favourite woman of all time then yeah. let us know because they might find a few that we don't know about we can go and find yeah. out about them so what else what else has been happening this week uh, what have you been watching on YouTube oh YouTube oh I have, I just, I cannot wait to share it with you. I have found the best guy on YouTube. You know when you come across someone when YouTube recommends other videos for you mm -hmm. and you just think, how have I never found this guy before? I've never um, heard of so him before. So his name is Nick Verrio <laughs> and he is amazing. He is just, so that's not how he sounds at all, but I can't do impressions. Um, <laughs> no, she sounds. He, he has his own YouTube channel, he's a fashion designer and he ha is the most flamboyant, over the top person. Wonderful. I want him to be my GBF and I want him to <laughs> teach me how to drape and it's one of those things where um, his videos are hilarious, not in the way people say ours are hilarious, we're not yeah. necessarily trying to be funny, we're no. just, we just, we just have are. fun I yeah. suppose. Um, but they're always really informative as well, so he teaches you lots of things. So the first video that I found, which then sent me off on this rabbit hole of watching as many of them as I could possibly yeah. find time for, <laughs> um, was the six secrets inside a high-end gown. <gasps> so he's a designer of high-end gowns, and I guess it was trending on YouTube because of um, the Oscars, yeah. um, and maybe because I'd looked at some Oscars stuff, so you uh -huh. should have thought I'd be interested. But he was talking about all the stuff inside the corset tree, the boning, all Love the horse that. hair braids, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then he's got all of these other ones that teach you various things about sewing. Uh -huh. There's a really good one about the 10 steps of creating a garment. So he starts with the sketch and he walks you through the whole process for someone in the fashion Ooh. industry. But it's really inspirational to hear how it should be done. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I think he is 
brilliant. Nick Varios, obviously. We'll, we'll link him below. Is there anyone that you've been watching on YouTube this week? Yeah, I've kind of gone down another rabbit hole with another little YouTube channel called Five Minute Crafts oh, Girl. Oh, yes, I've heard of Five Minute Crafts. And they are just really quite intriguing videos. It's kind of mesmerising. It's yeah. like I'm being hypnotised. Yeah. And they do things like they'll teach you how to tie a scarf in about a hundred different ways. There's no voiceover, there's no, is there, I can't remember if there's, if there's music. There's remember, music, there's, but it's there's, very yeah, subtle. There's no instruction and it's all no. sped up. It's all sped up and it's all very quickly and it's it's quickly done and it's really well edited. Yeah. But they kind of, like the videos are, like one thing will then, you'll be tying a scarf, yeah. then you'll be making a jacket out of a towel and then you'll be making a handbag out of a placemat and then you'll be making something else. Yeah. And it just kind of goes from one thing to the other. But it, I find that you've you've watched this five minute video and you feel like in your head you've made 10 things. As yeah, well, I'm, like, I'm exhausted. Even. Yeah, like 20 minutes, but in the best possible way. Oh, that was so tiring. if you fancy some <laughs> Yeah. quick inspiration it's good yeah. for that isn't it it's good and i think things like that are really interesting i like with different ways of doing things with something you've already got yeah. it just yeah. opens you up to different ideas i, I was watching one this morning from five minute craft i think it's five minute craft girly girly the one yeah that that's I have right to watch. and uh, and it was all these hacks for what you can do with your nails <gasps> and it was like literally how to get like marble effects flicking nail polish on them to get like a spatter effect and using pva glue around the outside that you can then peel off so that wow. you don't have to worry about getting it around the edges there were all these <laughs> using a sponge using all these crazy ideas and we're like, just gonna have crazy news nails print, now. putting newspaper on when it's still wet to really? get like a, a pattern of text oh really it's cool good. yes <laughs> what about instagram is there anyone that you've discovered In, on instagram yeah recently? i was telling you at the weekend about an instagram account that yeah. i love and um and i've been meaning to share it with you for ages it's called sb solly sb s-o-l-l-y and i'll link downstairs again it's hilarious and he is hilarious this is it he's a dad in Hackney and he um, he has a little daughter and he does dress up with his daughter and he creates these little scenes that are just taken in one shot pictures and they are hilarious and he's been doing them since basically baby was in mum's tum and it's, she's gone right the way through and she's a, she looks about two and a half now maybe something like that and they've just announced that they're having another baby so I'm very excited about that just because there's going to be more <laughs> all pictures. the scope for two children oh, it's just the amazing yeah. Yeah. the but one he, you showed me that I nearly snorted coffee out of my nose <laughs> Uh, was when he was being a mermaid. So she's in, yes. the, in the paddling pool and uh, or in the pool and he's laying on the side, bearded, hairy yeah. chest, wearing a, a wig big, and, and, a and a mermaid, mermaid tail. tail. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah, I like the ballet ones as well. Cause, but he always pulls the funniest expressions. And he's done some where he's like doing, they're doing like treasure hunts. Yeah. And, like, and she's dressed as a pirate. And, yeah. and there's one where he's a policeman and he's pulled her over in the car and she's driving the car. In a little tight in car. The, in a little tight no, in a proper car. Oh, okay. so in a, she's in a big convertible and he's pulled her over as a policeman. It's just hilarious and it's not fashion related. It's not sewing related. It just brings me joy. Yeah. So I yeah. wanted to share that. Do you know what? I think there's a lot of negativity about social media and, uh, and, and there are some negative aspects to it and we all mm. know how easy it can be to get sucked into that. But yeah. in other ways, it can bring so much joy and I think that yeah. that is, is perfect. Whether you're into cats exactly. playing the piano or dads dressing up or with their whatever. daughters or actually something that's brought me a lot of joy this week is the So Happy Colour Challenge. Yes. Um, so uh, Katie Coleman is known for her dancing. Mm -hmm. I did a little dancey thing as well the first day of it um, back at the, on the 1st of, of March but I've also loved seeing a Dance Baby yes. uh, did a little video where it was involved a little tykes car oh, yeah. which is what made me <laughs> And then Joy from um, Pink Coat yeah, Club, Pink she did a dancing uh, crayon showing her this and her colours. This is our impression colors. of you, Joy. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but I love seeing stuff like that and I just yeah. think we should encourage everyone to do more dancing yes, and more absolutely. stuff that makes you smile and makes you laugh yes. on social media. Can I mention another one quickly? I haven't yeah. mentioned this to you, but one my kids love is Pets in Food. Right, which pets is another, in food. Pets in food, which is another Instagram account, and basically they take pictures of food and insert a dog in them. <laughs> this it may sound an weird. actual dog, an or a, like a dog a picture face, of a dog, a, like a picture of a face, or right. a face of a dog. Sometimes the whole dog. So it could be a chocolate cupcake with a pug on the top and you have to kind of look at it it was really strange it's really subtle but my, it? my kids love it and every time I pick up my phone if I'm on Instagram they go come and look at dogs in food and so <laughs> one check that 
this on because it's another one that just makes my kids happy. Excellent. So cool. you need to check that out too. All right, I will. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll link all of those below. Um, so what, oh, we've had a couple of deliveries we can show you, which we're yes. quite excited about. Okay, should we mention our next? Oh, yes. First. That first. So these beauties here Look. Um, ha were gifted to us by the lovely Kathy from So Dainty. So Kathy is an awesome sewing blogger. She makes beautiful yeah. things. Oh. She's always been really supportive to everyone in the sewing She's community. She's so lovely. She, she really, really is. is, yeah. And she's always the first to offer to help anyone out. She's done more pattern reviews than anyone else, I yeah. think. Um, she's and, quite um, Yeah, and she's just a lovely, lovely person. Mm -hmm. And she's come up with this amazing range of acrylic jewellery. Um, so I've got the scissors. Yes. They're glittery, can you see? They're on wood, aren't Ooh. they? No, it's it's a wood-coloured um, acrylic on the oh, back, is it? I think. Um, it just to like stabilise really it. Um, but they're nice, and I've got the little. Um, might be wood, maybe it is. I don't know. Um, it's and it's got. I've got, got the spool of thread, thread with your with my glittery. Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh -huh. There are two more in the range. There's a button, yes. and there is a, a yarn. Is it a ball of yarn? Yes, that's right. But I think the scissors are sold out. Oh, I'm not surprised. They've gone. They're it's gone best. a bit mad. <laughs> but we'll link to her website underneath, so you can go and check it out. I'm sure she's going to get more in if you love the scissors. Yes, but they're a good size as well, they and are. they're really light. They're a good size, but also. For me, the chain is the perfect length. You get yeah. some of them where the chain's like that, and then you get mm. some of them where the chain's all the way down. Yeah. You can't really see it, yeah. and it gets stuck on things. So for me, it's the perfect chain length. Yes, and uh, and they look really well made. I've yeah. worn mine loads, and it's, yeah, um, it's, it's very versatile. Yeah, goes with lots of things. So thank you, Kathy. Thanks, so gorgeous. Kathy. They'll get a lot of wear. And we hope they continue to be a yes. huge success for you. I'm sure. Yes. She's She's ordering more as we speak, <laughs> just so that she can meet up with demand. I've had a delivery as well, a, a very Ooh, exciting thing. Yes. We've worked with a company called Young Shoes in mm -hmm. the past, and Rachel, we worked with them last year, yes. and Rachel got a pair of beautiful red brogues from them, yes. which are absolutely They're part gorgeous. red suede and part red herringbone, and, um, and I wore them in our review of the Nikki Cardigan and Rachel jumpsuit pattern from That's AK right. Patterns. It's funny you um, can remember the names there, yeah. second, but they were style, yeah, they were our names. <laughs> style, it was our style three ways videos where we yeah. showed you how we wore each garment three different ways. Yeah. And so I wore them in that. Um, so we'll, we'll um, link to link that, that video as well. Um, and, but I've worn them so much ever since. Yeah. And, uh, and they're really comfy and they're really well made. And they came back to us and said, would you like to work with us again? Which means I get to go choose this. No. So I'm very excited, and I've got the box here. I haven't even opened them, so I was thought I would do it a live unboxing. So this, there they are, look. They make me very happy. Yes. So I went for some trainers. Coming into the summer, or to, to spring anyway. Yeah. And um, I've gone for the brightest ones. Take it, take it out of the bag. Take it out of the bag. There you go, look. You take the box. Ooh. Fill the bag. There we are. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> look at them they are just beautiful i love the print on the side i love the little pop of yellow and the blue and it's the like they've been designed for you they have they've got all your colors and a geometric print on there yeah and they're quite a nice wedge yeah and as you can see i haven't I have, literally haven't taken them out of the box yet so you will see these popping up on Instagram in various different outfits because yeah, I'm going to wear them they a lot. They are gorgeous, they're lovely. And Yell are, um, they're a small family run British shoemaker, completely independent. Um, and I just love the idea of supporting those kind of businesses um, yeah. rather than going straight to the big chains all the time. Yeah. So if you've not checked them out, go and have a look. Their heels are to die for. They mm. have the most amazing colour block heels, yes. um, which are in their sort of, um, I they, they have this sort of colourway that's on there as well that they're using lots of their shoes which is kind of a blue, a yellow and a pink and yeah. then sometimes you get a bit of dark green and a bit of silver yeah. um, and all sorts of beautiful, beautiful colours. And then also if you're into more comfy things they do some hilarious little loafers yeah. but they have uh, motifs on them and they're different on each one but they're connected yeah. so I think there's one that's like a, an avocado and some toast and then there's another one that's um, got a, a, tea a, a tea cup and a, and a biscuit or something yeah, like that's that right. um, and they're just really really fun and really yeah. sweet so yeah. go and check them out because we think they're, they're great we think they're fabulous 
And then you had a little delivery of some pasta. Yes, well, we um, have been meaning for ages to take advantage mm. of the Simplicity 50% off sale. And we did so it this these week. arrived this week. So. Luckily, we were on the train for a couple of hours, so we yes. could actually get our act together and get it sorted out. So look at that. So believe it or not, we have plans for all of these. We We've do. got very clear ideas in our heads of what we want to make with them yes. and when. If someone um, could sort us out some time to actually yeah, do that, we could get a time there. machine. We'll yes. just keep going. Back and, we need uh, a Hermione time turner. Yes, so if someone could sort us out one of those, that'd yeah. be brilliant. Two, but um, I won't go through them all now. Just to say no. that we're very excited, and if you've not taken advantage of it yet, the Simplicity Sale is running till the thirty first of March. I yes, think. I think so. so. Make sure you get in there quick. Yeah, um, and uh, if you are interested in hearing more about our plans for them, you want to know what fabrics mm. and, and what we intend to have, what we our we vision can. is, and um, we can show you our inspiration pictures. We can do a um, pattern haul. Yes, yeah, so if you want to do got. a pattern haul video, mm. let's know and we will film that next week yes so what else has been going on oh we had a shopping trip this week we, did. we had such fun we did so we've got a video coming next week yes. which is our version of it's kind of like a sewing the trends thing but it's also what we actually intend to make yes so what we like to do is at the start of each season we like to go and hit the shops and try a load of stuff on see what we like mm -hmm. see what suits us um and then from there decide what our key pieces for that season are going to be find yeah. the patterns find the fabrics and then kind of work yeah. out a list of priorities in terms of what we're going to make when mm -hmm. um and it's always worth trying stuff on. Yeah. For instance, I tried on an amazing uh, jumpsuit, boiler suit type thing that I did not think I could wear. No. Um, but I loved it so much. I was dancing in the changing room. She was. And uh, the reason I loved it I so much there. is it was actually made from Ponty. Yeah. So it was secret pyjamas. Yeah. And it, it was looks just... like, if I, in, in a good, this is in a good way, <laughs> but she looked like she was going ghost busting. Yes. But in a very good, fashionable, that stylish way. <laughs> but it was that kind of, you know, buttoned up to the collar um, jumpsuit. And yeah. It was gorgeous. Yeah. It really was. I, I loved it. So if you're a sewer, um, you might not shop that often, but no. it's always worth going and hitting the shops just as a frame of reference. There mm. might be a style that you like that you think doesn't suit you, mm. but how are you going to know unless you try it on? Yeah. And it might be that you can't buy trousers because your proportions don't allow for you to be able to buy off the right trousers. I'm like that as well, yeah. but I can at least see if a high waist or a paper bag waist or um, a certain you. length yeah. is going to suit me mm -hmm. before I then start actually looking at patterns and buying fabrics and that sort of thing. Yeah. But the real revelation for us mm. was I never have a positive shopping experience in the sense that I want to buy everything in the shop. Yeah. Um, I like the idea of it, and as I've said, I'm usually trying them on for reference, but I'm not expecting them to fit well or no. to be well made. There's always something that would stop me actually taking it to the till and buying it. Mm -hmm. Until I went into and other stories. Which is fairly new to Bristol. And that has is to be another said. story. <laughs> and we just. Oh well, my god. At one point I said, I'm moving in here and never leaving. And, uh, and I could. I could leave. I could live yeah. there. I just wouldn't be able to eat anything. I'm I just, know. But I would look fabulous you would. all the time. You would. I tried on such a range of stuff trousers, jackets. Um, dresses, yeah. um, shirts, lots of different things, and yep. every single thing fit me brilliantly. Yes, was beautifully made, lovely mm. quality fabrics, bang and we on trend. I wanted it all. I wanted it all. No. But everything in Undone Stories was of it a was. fantastic quality. Yeah. the fabrics were gorgeous, mm -hmm. and and I think more than than anywhere else, the stuff we saw in there wasn't anywhere else in the high street. No, no. You know, I'd and the color blue combos cord were trousers beautiful. anywhere else. Yeah, they, they had they had all these beautiful color combos. So yeah. there was like a pale like cornflower blue with rust. I mean, that was and pale pink, gorgeous. Yeah. Not a colour combo I'd ever thought to put together, but nice. just really, really lovely. And mm. then add in a bottle green yeah. and, and a tangerine orange. And oh, I have been obsessed with Kate Blanchett's wardrobe in the Ocean's 8 movie. <laughs> yes. It's one of those movies that I wasn't desperate to see. I didn't rush out to see it at the cinema, but I needed to watch it because of all the amazing powerhouse women in it. Of and course. I wore literally every single thing she wore I yeah. wanted to recreate. And one of them was a green velvet suit. Well, in other stories, they had a mm. green cord pair of high-waisted trousers and a okay. cropped jacket so a really star jacket ring. they were gorgeous i have got patterns for both of those in my stash mm. um and original 70s patterns that i could make work yeah um and i and i had thought i'm gonna make a green velvet suit and then i tried this one on and it fit beautifully and i loved it so much that i just want to go and buy it now <laughs> 
so yeah, that was a re revelation. It was, it was. Yes, what else has happened this week? Oh, I'll tell you one thing that's happened, which is a bit a bit sad, um, mm -hmm. but also um, has, has made me think of something quite happy. Uh, Luke Perry has died this week, and um, I was a big fan of 90210, um, and he was the one that I liked. Yeah. Some people like Jason Priestley, for me, it was all about Luke Perry. Um, if you are not in your early 40s, this will mean absolutely nothing, nothing to you. Me. <laughs> or maybe from sort of mid-30s through to early 40s. Yeah. Um, but um, it's made me think how much fun it would be to go back and re-watch all the episodes of Beverly Hills yeah. 210 and look at all the 90s fashions. Are they available anywhere? Have you found I'm them gonna yet? Find I'm going to find out. Because you can find watch out. all the Friends and yes. stuff like that now, can't you? So that, yeah. I guess they'll I'm sure they must be somewhere. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to find out. Um, but the other thing that I found out that you can watch soon, which is very, I'm very excited Ooh. about, Project Runway is coming back for season 17. Yes. And it's moved. So there's some big changes. Ooh. So it's moved in America uh, from... From Lifetime to Bravo Network, um, okay. and um, it's no longer hosted by Heidi Klum. Oh, it's hosted by what's her name? Carly Kloss. Carly Kloss. Oh, yeah, Carly Kloss. Kloss. Um, so it's a new lineup of presenters. Uh, Nina Garcia is still in it. Is she? Um, but um, it's launching on the 14th of March, so that's mm. only next week. <gasps> and I think, I haven't had it 100% confirmed, but it seems to be true that Hey You, which is a UK network, which I already subscribe to, so yeah. I can watch Dance Mums with my daughter, um, has is, is taking it on Project Runway. So they're oh, going to be showing it in the UK. Yeah. So that's got me very, very excited. Because I love Project Runway. Yeah, and we can't get very much of it here in the UK. I, yeah. I think I've only ever watched about three seasons. Yeah. <gasps> Just had a thought though. What? There's a new lineup. What if Tim Gunn isn't in it anymore? <gasps> I'm not sure I could watch it. Got it. <laughs> be someone Tim else. I love him so much. Yeah, I love Tim Gunn as well. And what if they had someone else and they started saying, make it work? No. That would just be wrong. No. They'd have to come with their own. No. You've got, then no. again, when the Bake Off moved to Channel 4. Oh yeah, I was very sceptical. And Noel and... Sandy. Sandy. I love Noel. I always forget Sandy, bless her. Um, <laughs> took over from Mel and Sue. Everyone yeah. was sceptical and they've made that work. Yeah. So yeah, they have. They have. There's hope. There is hope. Yes. Uh, guess what I'm going to see tonight? <gasps> oh, I know what you're going to see because you're so excited about it. You've been going on about it for months. Captain Marvel's being released today. Or yes, last night. But um, me and the kids are going after school today. We've got How long four ago did you show my tickets? Three weeks ago. The day they went on sale. Yeah. Basically, <laughs> yeah. so they are my, the biggest Marvel fans yeah, in the house. Aren't me, they? me and my boys. My husband, it kind of you know, but me and my boys are absolutely. I Marvel can come geeks. with you, and you can leave Tim at home. I've, if you I've want. not booked a ticket, but you can come if you want. <laughs> but uh, yeah, my my kids are huge Marvel geeks, and I don't know where they get it from. It, clearly it's from oh. me so we're all very excited to see this and then end games out at the end of april oh. so it's very exciting so, yes. so i'm literally i'm rubbing my legs i'm just so excited <laughs> that's it i think that's it for the week that's enough for a week isn't it i think so yeah i think giving you a bumper edition yes <laughs> <laughs> and let us know if we're on the right track if mixing yep. it up and uh, talking about different things outside of sewing is a good thing or whether you'd rather that we keep it specifically to sewing and craft related topics yeah. Um, and uh, and yeah, if you've got anything in particular that you'd like us to focus on one week, let us know because we always love looking for new things. Yes. So we'll see you next week. Bye.